need something. It's about time. There's been too much confusion around this fire. It must be stamped out. Harold Bailey himself, I suspect. Or maybe his father. I doubt he would have gotten any of his boys to do it. Very well. Later. <coughs> Hello there. Good. The truth about this fire will prove our innocence. The Fletchers. I don't have any evidence, but I know it was them. That may not be good enough for the round table, but it's good enough for me. They're criminals. No worries. See you around. Help. Hello, sir. Name's Timothy, or Timmy for short. Saw the fire with me own eyes, I did. Thought the old forest was a goner till it started chucking down. Could be I can help with your investigation. Always fancied a career in sleuthing. I watched you snooping round like a prat, that's why. Harold and Susan, but I just call them mum and dad. I'm their youngest. Up to what? I just want to help with the investigation, that's all. Well, since I don't fancy digging round in the mud for clues, I can do you one better. I saw a bloke light the fire that night. I didn't see his mug. I was watching from the lumber yard, but he was suited up like a Camelot knight. He ran off to the old shack over there. I didn't follow him or nothing. I'm not supposed to go out on my own. So did I crack the case or what? No worries. I'm always glad to lend a hand to those in need. Can I help you? He had an accident, that's all. A tree fell on me. As it had a trade. I... I... Oh shit. It's not what it looks like. At least... It didn't happen the way you think. Please, just let me explain. It was an accident. Me and Timmy were sneaking off to the tavern that night. We wanted to surprise Thomas. 
One of those bleeding rad stags came out of nowhere and ran right into my leg. I didn't even notice I dropped the lantern. We ran off and Timothy went to get me some bandages. By the time he came back, the fire started. Please, tell Arthur the whole truth. Make him understand. Continues. How goes the investigation? Leave no stone on t How goes the investigation? Go on. As I unfortunately suspected. The evidence? How do you know the perpetrator sustained an injury? Come to think of it, Lancelot mentioned one of the Bailey boys limping about. I didn't connect the dots. The fire must have whipped those Radstag into a frenzy, causing them to attack. To think he had his own son do his dirty work. The truth can be difficult to accept. It can be messy and inconvenient, but it is always worth seeking out. Thank you. They'll face sanctions for this, mark my words. The agreement is null. They forfeited their half of the land. You've done well and proven yourself worthy of Camelot. From this day forth, this land is your land. You shall defend it as your own. I bestow upon you the rank of sergeant. May you serve it well. Now, I had questions if we ever cross paths. Questions about our new head of the civil service, Smythe. Guinevere, our agent in Westminster, has been looking into them for years, but they remain elusive. Who are they? I see. That's some alarming intel. How did you come by it? Roth, I imagine that trail led you to Westminster. But who let you in? Few have the privilege to come and go. They can't have done you a huge favor, whoever they were, judging by your prompt incarceration. After you escaped, Tristan and Istult met you at the tournament. It seems you were more than just an observer. They said you were looking for explosives, so I must assume you were behind the explosion. Why exactly? So you wanted to kill Smythe, but ended up causing the tragedy that gave them more power. I'd wager Mr. X was more fond of Smythe than he let on. But that's in the past. No point dwelling on it. I expect this Smythe character will take a role in things to come. We must be ready to face all the gentry can throw at us. They're with Smythe now. That gets me onto your next assignment. I want to strike a blow against the Tommies, but I don't want to take military action. At least not yet. Percival is looking into something that you can help with. Speak to him. Good luck, Sergeant. <laughs> 